Good morning, David Kubian, Bear Woods Photography, coming to you from the hills of North Georgia. And I wanted to talk to you today about a, a new product that I'm trying out, um, and I'm very intrigued by it. Um, you know, I, I, I use monopods a lot for my bird photography especially, and I would use them for wildlife when I'm traveling, but my current, you know, uh, monopod the problem is that it's it's big it doesn't collapse down far enough it's got feet and stuff it rotates um, and it's very very nice for you know s situations like when I'm on the back porch but I need something that's compact and I need something that um, I can carry in the field and it be versatile enough um, and it's and not so heavy because the other one is several pounds so I am trying the new see if I can zoom in on that the Benro Super Dupa MSD PL 4016. You heard that right. The Super Dupa Pro carbon fiber monopod. Um, just I'm going to read out some things while I've got the box in my hand. Uh, the maximum load 70 pounds. Maximum height 62.6 inches. The the minimum length is 19.7. Very critical there because it will fit in your carry-on luggage. It even fits on the side of my backpack, my Shimoda backpack. Um, so that way I can carry it onto the plane with me. And I've always got that there, you know, because a lot of times I have to separate from my tripods and stuff. The weight of it is two pounds, so that's less than half of what my current monopod is. Um, it comes with a great little bag. If you want to put it in the bag, strap that to the side of your, your camera bag, you can. Um, inside the bag also is an instruction book. Um, I find it more informative to go ahead and, and go to the Benro site and watch the video with the practical uses and stuff of it. Um, I think it's a little bit more helpful. It's a little more understanding. Um, you know, I, I just, these pictures are okay. But I think it's just more helpful to watch the video. Maybe this video will help you do it a little bit as well. Uh, it also comes with a carrying strap. And in the picture you can see, that strap will go out. Uh, oh, I thought it was on there. Yeah, you can see the strap right here. Actually expands pretty big so you can have that fully extended and carrying it with the strap on it. Um, it also comes with a smaller strap that fits around your wrist and has a little thing that closes so for security that you don't drop it. If you were to let go for some reason, you know, it's not going to fall, it's, it stays on your arm. Um, what I like, some things, it also comes with an Arca Swiss plate, uh, the Arca Swiss compatible plate. Um, there, and that's going to be something I talk about with the head on the monopod itself. And in the accessory kit, it comes with a spike. And if you guys know me, you know I love to have that spike on the bottom of my tripod when I'm out in the, the cold and the ice. Um, this will double up for me to, to use as a little bit of a walking stick, plus it's going to give me the stability I need to use. And it also comes with the, the hex tool, the Allen wrench. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, the monopod itself. Very compact, 19 point, what was it? 19.7 inches, I believe. Yes, 19.7 inches. A couple little neat features on this um, is just a little bit of a turn. You know, quarter twist, half twist is going to get you loosened up, and it's one, two, three, four, five sections there. Um, so a couple things that are really nice about it. It's got the, the little tools to tighten. I didn't even take this off yet. Oh, Oh well. Um, so we'll just have to worry about getting that out of the way. Um, the nice thing is that it's got an area for a wrench to tighten the little areas like on the side of this, this flip lock. And it's also got a place that'll hold the tool. So you've got all that close at hand without having to dig into your bag to find it. Uh, that's nice. It does come off. If you don't want to keep it on there, you can simply take that off, put it back on if you want to use it. So a couple features in this that are really, really neat. Um, I know that a lot of times you'll put your tripod on the ground and you twist and you turn as you're panning with something and it grinds. Well, if you notice with this, it's got a base that actually turns. I'm going to hold it as close as I can. It's got a base that actually rotates and turns. So that way, as you're rotating it, it's staying flat on the ground. So you're not twisting it and wearing out the rubber base to it or worrying about rolling into a little bit of a hole and a rock or anything else. I really like that. To take it off if you want to, 
you would simply take that off, screw the spike in. You can use that little tool, the hex key, to go ahead and tighten it up. So you've got that on there, very nice. I'm probably holding it down too low, so I'll show you again. You can simply unscrew it, put the spike in, tighten it up with that Allen wrench, Put this back on when you're ready and for hard surfaces again it's nice because this area turns so again you can simply loosen all of these and i know that there's a lot of times that when i'm out photographing i need just a very very minor adjustment for some reason um, that you know i need to raise it up six inches or something and it can get kind of bulky or odd when you're having to tr try to twist these raise it up six inches well what they did with this the super duper is they made a flip lock on there that you can simply raise it and then close it what i really like about the design of this is it's not thin um, the thinner ones are the ones that a lot of times you pinch your fingers in this one you're not going to pinch your fingers so you know that's really nice it's just easily adjusted pop it down pull it open adjust pop it closed so I like that. I like the width of that. It's a good metal piece as well, so it's not plastic. It's not going to break. Um, so that's really nice. Let's talk about a few things up here. Uh, we've got a hook with this little thing that's in the way here. Um, the hook holds the, the little strap that goes under your wrist. Then you've got a couple neat little features here. You've got a leveling base that will go 30 degrees in any angle. So. I can try to show this. I like that. And I'm going to do a follow-up video when I'm actually out in the field using this thing. But I want to show you sort of the unboxing of it in general. So it's got this leveling base that actually will give you 30 degrees either way. You can tighten it down. So where this comes in handy is if you're in a situation where you're uh, leaning up against a rail, you don't have a tripod, and you need a slower exposure, you can lean up against a rail, you can hold it, brace it, and then you can simply use this to adjust it to get it level. It's got a bubble level right here. Very nice. So um, that comes in really handy. Then it's also got a panoramic feature that if you want it to, you could you could do panoramics. It's got a little scale that you see there that you can do everything. You know, it, it's a good um, makeshift substitute for a tripod in situations like that, but it's going to give you the opportunity to go ahead and do some basic panoramic movements. So that's really nice. I think that with the leveling base, if you're doing just some very minimal panoramics, you know, four or five stitchings together, this will work really well. Um, so uh, that comes in handy. Again, this is the panoramic screw. This is the uh, leveling base screw. And over on this side is the release for the quick release. Now, let's talk about that for a second. So if you've got a lens that's got the Arca Swiss uh, base on it, like my Tamron lenses do, that's nice because I don't have to screw anything in. I don't have to have an additional ball head. Everything I need is right there. You can simply screw it in. Um, if you've got the, the plates that have the little catches on them that make it so you don't you know, go too far with it, um, you can simply screw this in. If you unscrew it just to this, this, let me see if I can show you. So if you screw it to the first limit, you can see that that doesn't go beyond that point. To get it beyond the safety point, you simply pull out and then turn some more and the plate comes out. So it's a nice safety catch that to make sure that you've, you've tightened your, um, your plate down tight enough and it's not going to slide as you tilt forward or something. So I really like this head, especially that's, that's the big thing for me is I really like the head. I really like this little clamp that allows me to do just some minute adjustments. Um, I love having that Arca Swiss plate uh, adapter on there or the receptacle for it, um, the platform. Um, I like the twist locks on the bottom. Carbon fiber, great for the winter. I'm going to be heading to the Tetons here in just a couple weeks. So I'm definitely going to use it out there. Uh, we'll get into some moose. We'll be photographing at the Teton Raptor Center, some of the birds there. Uh, there's a lot of times that I don't need to set up a tripod, but I have to because my other monopod is just so big uh, that it doesn't function for me properly. So this is going to be a, a really good thing. This thing retails at about $200, so it's a little pricey, but it's got a lot of features on there that I think are very important to have, and I think it's well worth the money. Um, 
it's it's a great substitute for when you're doing the wildlife for uh, photographing the wildlife and being able to do some of the things you want to do the movements that it has so stay tuned for my follow-up video in the field it'll be a couple weeks i gonna leave for like three weeks um, but go ahead and just uh, check back with it um, and a good way to do it is if you don't subscribe to my channel go ahead and subscribe there's a little bell down there in the left corner that you can click for notifications when I do a post a video it'll let you know um, and that's one way to find out when I do my follow-up video um, if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any questions go ahead put that into the uh, the comment section as well uh, and I promise I will if I see it I'll get back to you for sure um, I try to do that all the time but the new Benro Supa Dupa and it's the model number MSD PL 46 C uh, there's three different versions of it each one has little additions this is the top of the line um, and again 8x carbon fiber uh, the Supa Dupa Pro. So, you know, say that three times very quickly. Uh, anyhow, I look forward to getting some videos out to you with this, some of the images that I get out west. Um, I'll take this with, with me to Iceland again in a couple couple months. I'll have it in Alaska. It'll be great up there. Uh, any questions, like I said, just let me know. Um, anyway, have a great holiday. They're just around the corner here. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the new year. So thank you again. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.